What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Sam and Gray out here in Frisco, Texas. Just doing another theater installation. We're gonna be doing a 5.1.2 with the 8000 series towers from Klipsch in the front of the room with the 504C and a Epson 4050 and hopefully a huge 145 inch screen for this customer. Right now we're, we just went and assessed the situation. We're contemplating whether we could fit that screen in based on the throw distance, but what we're gonna do is get all of our parts upstairs and then we'll show you the space that we're working with. Thanks for watching. You do look like Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. All right guys, this is the space we're working with. Nice purple room here. What we're gonna do is terminate everything in the front of the room. We're also gonna use these 8000 Fs and we're gonna put them in the front, uh, left and right. We're actually gonna put the wires under the carpets and leave these existing terminations up here in case he wants to do height speakers in the future. 504C right here in the center. Terminating everything up in the front. Like I said, uh, we're gonna do some custom series uh, speakers by Klipsch, 16s. And then in the rear here, we're gonna do custom series. And if we can get a pair of designer series for him, he wants to do a little upgrade on the and if we can, we'll pull these down to ear level so it sounds optimal. Uh, 4050 up here in this, uh, up in the top. And then we already discussed with him, he does have like a 15 foot throw here. So if we can, we're gonna put the 145 out there. If not, we're gonna go get him a 133. We got the top one up, now we're gonna do the bottom. A uh, little tip on these bottom brackets for the Dragonfly screens. If you just go up a little bit, I'm talking like, what, eighth of an inch, Grayson, do you think? Mm -hmm. Less than? If you just raise that from max tension, your screen will fit on a lot better. So yeah. we'll get that on and we'll show you how it looks. All right, guys, I uh, got our cathedral mount mounted into the stud here. We did have to go off the center a little bit if you can see here about eight eight point five inches hopefully we can just use lens shift uh we would we we did go and try to check it out and see if we could put a stud in but it's just it's too dangerous there's just not enough room um with that note we'll just use the lens shift in it and then if we do have to we'll move the screen over but i think that these epsons have a pretty good lens shift so it should be fine but keep in mind we always do try to get it in the center at all costs, but obviously not today. Not the cost uh, of not, personal safety. Yeah, exactly. So, here we go. We're going to get it mounted up there now. All right, guys. Here we have the RP8000s. We're going to use for our front left and right a 504C center channel. SPL120 from Klipsch. All of this is Klipsch. Epson 4050 and a Denon ABR2600. The, for our surrounds, we're gonna use the Klipsch Designer Series, the 16s, right here. And then the Custom Series for our Atmos speakers. And if you guys need something like this, please don't feel free to call. Don't forget that nationwide free shipping. Yep, nationwide free shipping, low price guarantee. And that is the Dragonfly High Contrast Gray Screen. All right guys, we got our Rome x ram and our cat six and our fiber optic HDMI from install bay. Now we're gonna put our plates on and tap into the power. All right guys, so Sam is marking out our speakers for our Atmos. We got one there, and then he's working on a second one. 
Over here, I'm bringing down these speakers, speaker lines rather, to ear level, right above the uh, customer's couch for optimal sound performance. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here from that up there. Alright guys, Sam's fishing his lines, he got them cut. That's the Opmo speakers. We're just having a load of fun today. We're running in lots of problems with beams and not much space. You know, even over here, tried to bring the line down, but there was a, again a cross beam right here. Means this is the exterior part of the home. And then I actually <laughs> drilled through the siding, which I thought was the attic and brick but, or brick, and apparently it's not the case. So we ended up moving it over one stud pattern. And then here we have the attic. Just uh, really unfortunate, but you know, we're, we're moving along with it. We'll get that pole fixed as well. All right, guys, we are currently in the works of running these in-ceiling speakers right now. I've been very busy on phone calls, but the guys are killing it. They're getting this done. It's uh, starting out to be a little bit of a headache in certain Spots. You can see Grayson's finishing off these rear surrounds right now and Sam is up in the attic getting the wires fished down to the front of the room And then last but not least we're gonna make our connections to the devices and get everything calibrated for the customer Moving along Try after much trials and tribulations. We finally got the home run run. We had to cut a hole Up here behind the screen in order to get to the stud uh, and there's a series of other studs on top of that in the attic, plus just lovely uh, Easter eggs uh, hidden by the uh, builders. So now that we get that, we've got that, we're gonna install our wiring and or install our speakers and uh, get going with connecting these wirings. Now we are right up against the stud, so uh, uh, we're probably gonna have to etch this out. Or just go up from the top and screw it in. Oh yeah, that's probably easier. Uh-huh. There we go. Two sides are probably all that's gonna activate. I'll go up there and throw a screw in there. Is that straight? Tell me at home folks, is that straight? No, it's gotta go that way. Oh. There we go. Cool. Alright guys, we're setting up the amp now. We got all of our lines connected. The speakers, we're just tightening up the wires in the front here. Sam is. We got our lines put under the carpet and in the baseboard for our front, left, and right tower speakers. As well as this one. Moving along. guys we have made it to the end of this install mm -hmm. it has been a uh, it's been a process that's for sure uh, but let's go ahead and show you what we've done so far or all day okay. so up here guys in the front right we have the den or the clutch rather 8000 series tower speakers let me show you them oh too. yeah that, that that's what people want to see right there here they are. these are the reference from here oh yeah in the middle, you can see we have all of our devices here, along with the 504C from Klipsch as well. 
he, the customer is going to be building a cabinet for this uh, in the future. And then we have the Denon AVR X2500H, and this is the Klipsch SVL120 subwoofer. Ported. Ported subwoofer, yep. The ceramic metallic woofer. You may wonder why we moved that to the front, uh, because the line for the back of the room wasn't good, and it, but it'll still sound comparable up here. Again, front left, we hid the wires under the carpet in the baseboard. This is the 8000. And then up here, for our screen, if you're wondering why it doesn't fit the screen, it's because they're back ordered on the 133. So we just put this in, in the meantime, it's, it's about to be a month. So in the meantime, we're just gonna leave this 145 in here. And then when we come back, we'll swap it out. The back, we got the designer series, 16 W's, like that. That's real nice. And we did move them from up here Builder. Down here to the ear level of the customer. Builder decided uh, to go crazy with their design. Yeah, there was a beam in the wall here, that, we, and it was exterior, so we couldn't do anything about that. What about? Up up here, uh, we have our Epson for projection. It's the 4050 on a cathedral mount. And we put in a power outlet and ran some lines for him. HDMI and cat for the future if he does get a universal remote. And we relocated this one as well down here. This is the Designer Series 16Ws. Up for Atmos speakers, we have the Custom Series 16s. You see these all the time on our channel. <laughs> yeah, we also put it in the, the beginning of the video as well, so you know. <laughs> They got to leave their fan up, which was nice. Mm -hmm. We got the projector in a reasonable spot and we did get it into a stud. All right guys, this has been the conclusion of our video. I really hope you all enjoyed this. And if you did need any of these products in the future, we, and we can help you with that, we can install it here in Dallas, bring it to your home. Or if you live somewhere else in the country, we have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. And we'd certainly answer your calls and help you out. So just email us, call us, even shoot us a text if you want. We're always here. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down there. I'm Sam. And I'm Grayson. With Dream, Dream Media Home Theater. Yep, home oh, theater. We almost had it at the same time. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.